The MAGA crazies have forced closed a butterfly sanctuary. Let's get into it. We are writing to let you know the National Butterfly Center will be closed Friday, January 28th to Sunday, January 30th due to credible threats we have received from a former state official regarding activities planned by the We Stand America event taking place in McAllen, Texas this weekend. This MAGA midterm election rally hosted by Trump's former national security advisor and pardoned criminal, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, is the national kickoff event for what they're calling their Take Action Tour. You may visit the website and see the rogue gallery of featured speakers and presenters as what's sure to be an inflammatory exercise in free hate speech. We were alerted to this event on Friday, January 21st, following a visit by a congressional candidate from Virginia. She appeared with a friend who claimed to be a Secret Service agent and demanded access to the river so they could see the rafts with the illegal crossings on our property. See fake photo of rafts at our dock composed and disseminated by Coffage and crew. When asked to leave, they attempted to film Ariana while reiterating the malicious and defamatory lies of Steve Bannon and Brian Kofage, whose concerted public attacks against the North American Butterfly Association and National Butterfly Center and our director remain the subject of a lawsuit we have brought against our dark money fundraising organization, We Build the Wall. See false Kofage tweet claiming butterflies swarming a decomposing body. As the Virginia candidate fled the center, she tried to run over Mariana's son, who was filling in the visitor's pavilion. Nick was trying to close the front gate to prevent the candidate and her friend from leaving with Mariana's phone, which they had taken from her after knocking her to the ground outside of the pavilion. All of this was caught on security cameras, and the visitor who witnessed the attempted aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on Nick called 911. It took Mission Police Department more than an hour to respond. At present, we are still waiting to see whether Mission PD will be pursuing prosecution of the candidate and her friend who has been reported to the Secret Service for impersonating a federal law enforcement officer. We made the difficult decision to close the center when Mariana was advised by the former state official whose daughter is the Hildago County GOP chairman that she should be armed at all times or out of town this weekend because the We Stand America event includes a Trump train style caravan to the border. He said the National Butterfly Center would likely stop on this take action tour and she and the center are targets. The three day fundraising event organized by Trump operators is just too similar to a three day wallathon organized by Bandage, Coffage, and Tommy Fisher, in celebration of their first private border wall project prior to the mission project that likely incited the Walmart massacre in El Paso. We simply cannot risk the safety and lives of our staff and visitors during this dangerous time, as if we needed further confirmation of the violent sentiment being stirred up against us this morning as we drove to work, we found someone had ripped down the National Butterfly Center sign erected by the Texas Department of Transportation. We truly appreciate your support and understanding. You cannot believe the center of this maelstrom of malevolence uh, rising in the United States. The majority of our staff are hourly wage earners have made a decision to pay them for the three days of unexpected closure because of the disruption or operation caused by the disparagement of our organization should not result in their suffering, the loss of wages to feed their families and pay their bills. Butterflies. They're going to war against butterflies. 